Hey BeatStars family, it's Jamil. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create and edit licenses on the BeatStars Studio app, available now for iOS and Android. If you're new to the BeatStars Studio app, click the link above my head for more tutorial videos and see how easy it is to manage your business on the go. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering how to create a new license, how to edit an existing one, and how to activate and deactivate them. Alright, let's get started. From the dashboard, take a look at this bottom menu and click this tab with the three lines all the way to the right. This is the My Media section, where you'll be able to see your stats, manage content, edit your settings, and so on. To create and edit new licenses and contracts, you can click on this section here under Distribution and Services. To start off, let's press this blue plus button to begin creating a new license. First thing we'll need to do is give it a name. Some good options for naming your licenses is listing off the file types they'll include, like MP3 or WAV license for example. Or by naming them by tier, like Basic, Premium, Trackout, and Unlimited. We're going to be making an MP3 license here for our example, so I'm going to call this one Basic. Next we'll set the price. Minimum offer price is the lowest amount they can offer if we want to enable negotiations for this license. I'm going to leave it blank, which means I don't want to accept negotiations. Default album price means the price for an entire album purchased with this license type. So if you plan to sell beat albums with rights for each track, you may want to enter a default price. But when you're creating your albums, you can adjust the prices for each license there too. Default track price is what the price for the license will be when purchasing a track. When creating individual tracks, you can change the prices for each one, but this will be the standard price if you don't change anything. For a basic license, a standard price is around $30, so that's what I'll put for mine. And then I'll click Apply to All Tracks. You can check this box if you want these prices to be applied to all your tracks in your catalog before you created this. Now let's move on to Files to Deliver. This is where you select what your customers will receive when they purchase a track. For every license, they'll receive an MP3 at minimum. My suggestion is to send the untagged file. Since they're purchasing from us, we don't want to give them a tagged file. And I won't select any extras because this is just our basic product. We want to save those extra files for our more premium licenses. In the Studio app, you'll be able to use the Quick Customizer where you can set numbers in each category, and these will be plugged into the contract for you to make it super easy. If you want to use our full customization feature where you can edit the text of the contract, you can access that on our desktop site. If you're going to edit contract details, make sure you consult the help of a legal professional to make sure everything is correct and works the way you want it to. Okay, so let's set these numbers. So what you're going to want to do is structure all your different licenses in a way that your customers get more for their money with each upgraded product. So if someone is deciding between your basic MP3 or your WAV, they'll not only get more files, but they'll gain other upgrades like more streams or distribution copies. This is a great way to add incentive for purchasing your higher tier products, and for customers who do buy your basic to come back and buy an unlimited later. So if you're creating a basic license, what kind of number should you start off with? Let's use our default MP3 settings as a guideline here. For distribution copies, let's do 2000. Free downloads, we'll make this number unlimited. Audio streams, we'll put 500,000. Music videos will be one. Non-monetized video streams will be 500,000. And one monetized video stream. We're going to allow basic broadcasting rights and put two radio stations. And allow for-profit performances and give unlimited not-for-profit performances. Again, these are just the terms of our default MP3 license and you have the ability to customize these numbers or settings any way you'd like. Now we can set up our state and country in the address section. I'll put Texas, USA. Lastly, we can set some optional info here like a description and feature list. Feature list is a really important thing to set if you have a pro page plan. We can write in features here and separate them with the line break and they'll appear as bullet points in the contract section of our pro page. 
This is a really great way to quickly break down the most important terms of your different licenses to your site visitors, so they can easily make a decision which option is right for them, without having to read through the entire contract. I'll put a couple of our key features here, and we can check out how that looks after. After that, we're pretty much finished. We can just hit this check button to finalize it. And now it's active. To activate or deactivate any of your licenses, all you gotta do is toggle it on or off. If we decide we wanna change any of our terms, we can tap these three dots here and go back to the editing page. Lastly, just to check out how all this works and see that feature list we created earlier, I'll pull up my pro page. Now let's scroll down to the bottom and we can see all of the available licenses for our customers to easily choose which one fits their needs. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to check out help.beatstars.com for more tutorials.